I came here about a hundred years ago, and back then they were saying that the ruins were picked bare. Chocoboco! Chocoboco! You have the power to make everyone's wishes come true! I thought I'd go visit all my favorite old places before the world ends, so I sold my house. I'm using the money to travel the world now. Go ahead and board the train. Everyone's wishes come true! Everyone! Choco! You found all the fragments?! Why are you talking to me, silly?! Go and find Saz right away! More Yule's flowers grow, have you? Well done. North of here lies a desolate land that's littered with the hulks of downed airships. Hardly anyone goes there, apart from the curious and the brave. If you manage to trek across that land, you'll eventually reach one particular airship wreck. There's a man who lives in that wreckage, a recluse who's turned his back on the rest of human society. Of course, he's not the only recluse to make his way out to the wildlands, but this one stands out with his giant nest of a haircut. I hear he used to be a pilot back in the day.
Let's pack up for the day. It's time for dinner. Hey, Saz, get out that coffer you have. I've got all five of the soul fragments for Dodge. You serious? I searched the whole damn world or what's left of it and never found a single one of them. You, you found them for me, Lightning. <sighs> Thank you for this. You saved my son for me. That chocobo, it wasn't here before, was it? <laughs> yeah, she'd up and left us in a lurch. Dodge's little chocolina. Didn't even notice when she snuck back in. Chocolina? Never mind that. What about Daj? The Coffer of Souls is right there, so drop in those soul fragments. Nice and gentle. Lumina said, once they're put in that box, they'll become one again. You do that, and I'll take care of whatever comes next. Open the box, and the soul should go back to Daj all in one piece, where it belongs. Okay. Hmm. What the? What's wrong with this thing? Damn box won't open. Hello, hello. Ah, why doesn't this thing work? I got Dodge's soul back, didn't I? Hmm. His soul is reborn, but his heart's shut away tight. Little Dodge is frightened and doesn't want to come out. It's your scary face. My face? Uh, what am I supposed to do about that? It's the only one I've got. Hell with that. Hey, Dodge. Dodge, can you hear me in there? You're messing with your old man, right? Tell her, son. You're not frightening me. Come on, Dodge. Wake up, Dodge. Dodge. <sighs> ah, son, Dodge. Huh? Now what do you want? Quit it or I'll stick you in a cage. Stop flapping around. Leave me alone, I'm busy. Look, sit there and shut your beak, will you? Ow! Uh, hey, that hurts! What was that for? Ah, uh, ouch! Hey, that seriously hurts! Ah, uh, blasted fluffball! Huh? What? Cool it, will you? What's gotten into that pea brain of yours? Uh, all right, all it's right. It's the way right. you look. You too? Damn, the whole world's got it in for my face. Saz, I'm serious. You should see yourself. You're scowling all the time, like you want to scream at someone. Is that right? Scary face, huh? So that's what you mean. <sighs> I've been wrapped up in my own anger. I didn't think about what I must look like to dodge. I used to be different. No matter how tough the going got, could always figure out a way to smile and let Dodge know it was okay. Yeah, it's something the father's got to learn to do. <sighs> I've been doing it all wrong, but that ends now. Dodge, remember that game we used to play? Are you ready? This space race is gonna decide who's the fastest air jockey in all the pulse. And blast off! Whoa, Chocobo and airship are neck and neck. Who's gonna crack first? Shoom, I'm Saz Catroy bringing you the race of the century together with Supersonic Dodge. Hey, Dodge, you awake? Come on, Supersonic. You're gonna miss the race. 
here. Open your eyes. Your dad's here. Whoops. Oh, oh. Hey, are you okay? Huh? Ah, uh, <laughs> you're all right. Sorry about that. Guess I got too caught up in the space race. Again. you lightning you are never gonna let me live this one down are you Tukalina's favorite place to hide is on daddy's head You won't find a selection like this anywhere else. take for vegetables to grow in this field hmm. I'd wager about half a day huh. so you're growing tan tall greens are you 
You can eat them yourself, or feed them to your favorite chocobo. Well, let me tell you, it's a fickle plant. I haven't seen many people grow them as successfully as you have. Where'd you learn all this? From Sarala at Canopus Farms. Oh. Sarala, you say? I couldn't be more proud of my granddaughter. She is something, isn't she? She's got quite the green thumb, thanks to good genes. Huh. She never mentioned she had a grandfather. Oh, did I say my granddaughter? A uh, slip of the tongue. What I mean is... Sarala's my... Uh, she's the granddaughter of someone I know. Um, <clears throat> anyway, how is her father doing? That coal can be quite difficult. Well, her father... Say no more. If he's anything like I remember, he's gone wandering off, leaving her to tend to the fields again, all by herself. Yeah, he doesn't do much anymore. Sarala's the one who's been taking care of everything. I wonder, between my Tantal greens and her Gazal greens, which is more delicious? Now that's a question. If only I could taste both at the same time, then I'd know once and for all. Do you want me to bring you some of Sarala's greens? Is that it? <laughs> if you'd be so kind, I'll make it worth your trouble. How about in exchange, I let you use this field? All right. I'll be back. <laughs> You're much too kind. Thank you. Oh, you're back. What do you have there? Are those Gazal greens from Sarala's farm? I wanted to do this for a long time. Now I can finally find out whose greens are better. Mmm. Why, these are absolutely delicious. Are they better than yours? Yeah, there's no question about it. My Tantal greens don't even compare to her delightful and scrumptious Gazal greens. Sarala was so small when I last saw her, and now she's all grown up. She doesn't need coal anymore. You seem to know a lot about her and her father. You're not related, are you? Maybe an uncle or something? It's a little more complicated than that. Nevertheless, now I can pass away without worry knowing that she can take care of herself. That's all I wanted. Anyway, the field is yours to use as you please. Winged Angel, it has come at last, and the legends are coming alive before my eyes. Sarala. I heard the news about her father's death. But something doesn't quite make sense. I was in Arius and saw a man who looked just like Cole. But Cole is dead, so it couldn't have been him, right? Just someone who looks like him. Oh, looks like you have a cute little admirer. I think she senses you saved her life. She's not scared of people. Maybe she was a pet. Yes, that could very well be the case. Usually the ones that live in the wild aren't so friendly. If she does belong to someone, then... What is it? I just remembered a woman that I met. 
out on the trail near Canopus Farms. She was upset and told me that she had lost her dog. The moment the chaos was unleashed was the moment that the world began to die. That's what we came out here to research.